Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Oh, good lordy. Already the crypto people celebrating like it's 1999. I'm just kidding. More like 2019. <laughs> Anyways, cryptos, yes, they're going up. That's a good thing. I'm happy because, like I said, high tide lifts all ships. As long as mine keeps going up, I don't have a problem with it. Because remember, I use discretionary funds to pick up a loaded amount of tokens for dirt cheap. And just been sitting on them ever since. So I don't have no problem with what's going on. Because as soon as they get to a certain level, all I'm going to do is turn around and dump them and buy more gold and silver. I told you Shiba people were on this mission. And also the announcement of the Shibarium, I guess is the best way to put it. I'll have somebody else explain it to you better than I can here in just a moment. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so. Because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Money Metals Exchange. The link will be down below in the description. If you are a first-time buyer and you spend more than $100, use promo code PIMPY SILVER. Yes, it has changed. P-I-M-P-Y-S-I-L-V-E-R. So if you're watching this video and it's an older video, make sure you check on current videos because the code is going to be changing from time to time from now on. Also, I can be found on other platforms. Everybody knows I have my own website, PIMPY's News Network. Over here, I post videos that I can't get away with over on YouTube. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Pimpy's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. Come on over here and join us. It's free to do so. You can also come follow me on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, and Odyssey. The links for all these platforms will be down below in the description. So for whatever reason, if I get removed off of one platform, you could find me on the others. In addition, for those of you looking for my address, there it is right here. Feel free to pause this and go ahead and write it down and reach out to me. Also, remember I was doing the comparison of currencies against the U.S. dollar and the Ghana dollar surprisingly outperformed every other dollar out there against the U.S. dollar. It had an increase of somewhere of like 96%, so the value almost doubled. And I'm wondering if this has anything to do with it. Ghana to buy oil products using gold instead of the United States dollar, looking to strengthen the Ghana CD. So there you have it. This is probably why that currency continues to grow. Alrighty, as I was <laughs> saying earlier, look at this is what we're looking for: consistency, continue to grow. That's what you want to see: consistency. Bitcoin is now above $21,000. It's sitting at $21,145. Ethereum, look, when it jumps up, it jumps up big time. It's already at $1,572.60. That's the one and only crypto that I actually have any kind of faith in. <laughs> but I'm still not jumping on it yet. XRP is at $0.40. Cents. Cardano is at $0.36. Cents. Dogecoin sitting at $0.08. Cents. Polygon's at $1.02. two. Solana sitting at $23.26. Polkadot at $5.98. Litecoin, man, up there at $87.82. Shiba is at $4011. So as I stated before, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for consistency. I'm still not sold 100%. It's nice to see it moving in a positive direction, but let's hope nothing causes it to just tank. The word is a lot of people are jumping over there to cryptocurrencies because of inflation. That would be nice if these were safe haven assets, but if that's the case, good. Keep going. More power to you. As I stated before, whatever you have invested in the, in the cryptocurrency, then make sure you take out your profits as you go along. People keep asking me, where should I go to buy my cryptocurrencies? I'll leave two links down below in my descriptions. What that means, if you go to any of my videos, then go over here where it says show more, click it. Scroll on down here. There's two links. There's one right here for Coinbase that you can click. And there's one right over here for KuCoin. Either one you click. Actually, just so you know, XRP is sold over here on KuCoin. Not quite yet on Coinbase, all right? You can buy Shiba on Coinbase. XRP over here on KuCoin. If those are the tokens you are looking for. 
As one goes, they all start to go. You can see, oh, ever since December 21st, Terra Luna is continuing to climb up real slow, although they had a bump over here and came back down. But we're looking for consistency. So ever since then, it has been going up, as you can clearly see. That's what we want. So Terra Luna Classics at 3018. Satama running like crazy at 2015. At this pace, man, this is going to be cool to watch. I like to see it go ahead and uh, delete a zero. It's going to take a little time, but it's fun to watch. The same thing, if we look over the last seven days, you can see it was down here and had a big bump, came down slightly, but still continues to climb. Good thing I was just sitting on those Satamas. I'll take it. Satama, again, at 2015. The safest of the safe. We have silver above $24 again, sitting at $24.40. Consistency is what we want. We look all the way over here since late October to where we are now. Technically, go over here to November the 3rd where it's at its lowest part here over the last few months. You can see it at 1886, but it's up to 2435, up almost $6 just within the last couple of months. That is a nice, healthy climb. Let's hope it continues. Gold at $1,921.50, above that 1900 level and staying there consistently. The same thing, you could come over here about November the 3rd when it was down around 1616. And it's up to 1921. That's a $300 jump in value. Congratulations, I found out that another 23 new people went over there to Money Metals and made some pretty decent sized purchases. So people are waking up before it's too late and jumping on that bandwagon, which is a good thing. So Shiba knew to solve scaling problems in the trillion dollar market. Important updates in Shiba on the way to, it looks like 10 cents is what they're trying to say right there. That's fine. I'll take 10 cents and then I'll continue to hold it, but I will take out my profits. But forget all this. A lot of this has to do with this thing called Shibarium. And so let's find out what that is about. So shout out to Gossip Tater. He's the one that's going to be talking about this new Shibarium. Let's hear what he has to say. And this could be why Shiba is running. So Shiba Inu beta testers share a sneak peek of Shibarium Bridge. Now, guys, let me make it very, very clear to you. This is the talk of the day. Everyone is waiting for Shibarium, the layer two solution. Everything is going to start pumping, blowing up, exploding. Use any word you want to describe this, but things are really going to start moving when Shibarium comes out. So now having a look at the sneak peek of Shibarium Bridge, that would be very interesting because I myself don't even know what they're referring to. So let's dive deep into this. Now, as the Shiba Inu community prepares for Shibarium, the layer two prop grade for the popular meme currency is set to bring about a long awaited uh, changes. Last week, a piece of Shibarium's code was unexpectedly shared on GitHub as the developer team confirmed the crucial update is in the beta phase. Currently, beta testers are examining the Shibarium bridge which is uh, said to use the gas fee token bone shiba swap for every transaction. So here we've got um, a tweet. Good morning, Shib Army, ready to explode. Have a glimpse of Shibarium. Uh, now, as a result of the glimpse into the highly anticipated Shibarium, is now trending on Twitter. The Shiba Inu community, popularly known um, as the Shib Army, generated over 11,000 tweets and put the super popular Japanese guard dog theme meme coin back in the spotlight. This comes one day after the big news of a new partnership and a special edition uh, Shiboshi's NFT collection. As previously reported, luxury handbag and luggage manufacturer Bugatti Group joined forces with Shiba Inu to host the Twitter Spaces event with a special giveaway, live musical performances and exclusive mint of Shiboshi's ex Bugatti GRP NFTs for Shib Genesis um, NFT holders. So bone, bone source 50.5% in the wake of Shibarium. The developers confirmed a week ago that Bone Shiba Swap would be the only token used on layer two for transactions. And Bone shot up by 14.7%. However, the monthly perspective looks way better with 50.5% in the green for Shiba Inu's Bone. Hence the gas fee token for Shibarium managed to claim its crucial support level of $1. At press time, Bone Shiba Swap trades at $1.18, uh, according to CoinGecko. Indeed, Shiba Inu's bone has risen to three months highs, but there's still a long way to go to restore the impressive all-time high of $15.50 set over a year ago. So, undoubtedly, we are all in anticipation. You know, 
we are all uh, waiting for things really to start exploding. So Bugatti is teaming up with Sheba. Nice, that's a good partnership. So the launch of this, whatever this bridge is, is getting ready to take place. And so there's a lot of excitement and buzz generating around the Sheba coin as well as the Shebarium. And that explain why they are so persistent on trying to reduce the amount of Sheba coins in circulation as they continue to donate coins to the burn barrel. You could do the same thing if you wanted to, but I say hold on to them if you got them. Like I said, myself, I used discretionary funds. I have several million Sheba coins and I'm just sitting there waiting patiently for them to go up. And as they do, I will cash them in and put it right back into gold and silver. Are you ready for a nice little run in cryptos? And no, I don't have any faith in them, you guys. I know people keep saying, Pimpy, it sounds like you're talking good about them. Well, when they do bad, I'll say they're doing bad. When they're doing good, I'll say they're doing good. But like I said, there are tokens out there that I invested in that I use discretionary funds for. So obviously, if the rest of the crypto world is doing good, then I'm anticipated to do good as well. And so I'll take advantage of it. Anyways, that's it for now. You guys let me know what you think. I look forward to your comments and I will catch you later. I'm out.